All right, so in this video we're checking out the HGLRC KT20. So this is a, sort of a two inch sun whoop, but can also be kind of a racing whoop with this inverted motor set up here as a pusher. And uh, they're calling this kind of like a go-kart style frame. And it does, you know, resemble a go-kart a little bit here in terms of like the shape, you know, basically sort of boxy shape. And they've gotten uh, away from the sort of cinema style with the circular prop guards. So these are still prop guards. Things that it does protect the um, whatever you're going to be bumping into from the props. And it's fairly well protected. The frame itself is mm, not super strong, but you know, in a really hard crash probably will break but you know if you're mostly flying indoors and not having super fast crashes this frame should be fine there's a bit of flux in here but nothing that terrible you know this is um, basically using the same parts I think that the um, are being that were being used in the moto whoop this is the two inch again and digital version on this one here so they sent the analog version of the KT20. That one's like 83 grams, and for the digital version, it's like 103 grams. Whereas this Moto Whoop uh, digital is like 100 and I think 120 grams. So they have gone away from this circular prop guard style, which I think adds a lot of weight. This is just a prop guard, not a duck, so it doesn't actually add any efficiency like the Flywoo Center Race. And um, uh, you know, it just adds a lot of weight and a lot of uh, efficiency whereas going to a more open air style design here where the, the prop guards aren't really going to be playing that much of an aerodynamic effect in terms of disturbing the flow of air uh, I think this is better and uh, I think overall makes the frame lighter it's like very you can see it's like it's not as dense it's not as much plastic but it still does a pretty good job of protecting the components and you also have these little landing feet here I just noticed so it keeps the that bottom plate here off of the ground. And uh, if you get the digital version, I believe the Vista is going to be mounted to this bottom plate. And then there's the uh, video transmitter. I think the flight controller on this one is called the Zeus 10, so it's a 10 amp uh, 490 AC BL SCSEs. You got a Cadex Ant um, camera, and you got your, I think that's just a, the Zeus uh, 5. Uh, VTX and we have an XM Plus receiver here, the Hammer VTX antenna, so pretty typical parts uh, that you find in other HGLRC products. I uh, This is my own um, Insta360 Go mount. I did, a, I did a little bit of flying without the mount, sort of going to see what it would be like, sort of acro flying, and then a little bit with the camera on there to see how much the weight would affect the flying characteristics. I flew with a 4S450. Uh, which fits on here fine. Uh, you can definitely go with a bigger battery like a um, 650, 750, 850, 900, maybe even a 1050 uh, 4S LiPo. Of course, you know, the more battery you put on there, the heavier it's going to feel. It's not going to fly as nice. You can't really fly. You can fly more kind of smooth and cinematic like, but no, like, if you wanted to kind of do more aggressive flying, go with a lighter battery. It's going to be a more enjoyable experience. But, like that, you know, that's going to be come at the expense of flight time. You're going to have a lower a shorter flight overall but if you want a slower sort of um you know cinematic flight carrying the uh, go to go with a bigger battery than this you can get longer flight time i got you know, roughly four minutes sort of a little bit of uh, no camera and camera on together you see that at the end but um flight time is going to vary depending on the battery you put on here i believe they tune this for a bigger battery like probably like an 850 i think that's what they're recommended size was but i wasn't that interested in flying it like that where it's really heavy um it just uh, I, I i know from flying the uh, 900 on the center race i know what that feels like and and this is a similar weight it's not going to really feel that great it's gonna you, know, you can't really fly that aggressively you can't do any flips or rolls it's just basically kind of cruising around um, and when you're doing, when you're carrying the camera as well, you're just kind of cruising around as well. It's kind of why I'm not really that excited about two inch cine whoops in general. I would rather go with a bigger prop, two and a half inch or three inch. 
uh, still keep it lightweight and have a longer flight time. But that's just me. You know, some people like this sort of smaller design here. And and if you're kind of looking for maybe like using this in terms of like indoor, like a, like a larger indoor space for like a little bit of like racing, you know, um, cinema racing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I guess if that's a category or not. But yeah, you could use that for this. I mean, it, with a lighter battery setup, no camera, no HD camera. Um, you can definitely do some racing with this one and, you know, bounce off of walls and stuff like that. Uh, this is definitely way lighter, more agile than the um, Moto Whoop that you saw previously. And by the way, you know, like I said, it's using the same motors as the Moto Whoop. They, they haven't changed that else. The ALS um, 1303.5, 4500 KB motors. And the same props, the Emax Avon four-bladed props. So we're basically you know, pretty much the same quad just moved components over from the, uh, that quad to this frame um, and I think this is a, a superior frame in my opinion in terms of flight characteristics and usability and protection just overall better um, I don't I, I'm pretty sure this is also discontinued as well if you guys are wondering about the moto whoops so I'm gonna be tearing this one down and putting the components in another build you'll see that later but yeah um, yeah if you have a moto whoop uh, from before that one and you want to try out this one the frame is like $19 so you can just swap the parts over pretty easily uh, should be really easily swap and this frame is much better anyway I think that's going to do it for this one here's the narrated flight let me know if you, if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one I'm just going to fly it around briefly here, do a little bit of freestyle. It's not super loud, but I think the two inch props are still somewhat noisy. This is without the weight of the uh, Insta360 GO 2. As you can hear, as I get it, bring it closer, it's louder. It's pretty fast. All right, so let me bring it in. Tune's okay. Seems all right. I don't hear any oscillations. All right, let's bring it in and put the camera on and see how it flies in this wind with a uh, extra weight. Yeah, it definitely slows it down. Not as peppy. And it's getting pushed around in the wind, but it's not going to really show up in the uh, Insta360 GO footage because it's a uh, nice stabilization. But it's going to fly around like a Cinewhip a little bit here. I don't think two inches is the ideal platform for a because you're going to want a longer flight. You're going to want to go up to two and a half inches or three inches. But if you want to use this as a dual purpose sort of freestyle, racer, kart racer, uh, cinema up all in one. Um, you can do it just at the expense of a shorter flight time because of the smaller prop. And it's, as you can hear, it's louder than a three inch uh, lightweight uh, inverted cinema up like the uh, Cinelog 30. You know, something a little more, um, it's got a specific purpose. It's gonna be less noisy than this. But yeah, this is not quiet. Surprisingly, it's actually more noisy than my 1S uh, Mob Light 7 Cinema build, but that's 1S, this is 4S, so keep that in mind. So we're at 3.5 volts per cell. About 3 minutes of flight time. 
I'm running a Forest 450. So we're just about at the end of the battery here. I think about four minutes on this battery is about what you should expect. Uh, pretty windy right now. Actually, the battery's doing pretty well. I am just kind of cruising around right now. Not bad. Yeah, you can definitely see the bobbling around. And yeah, it's time to land.